Okay, so I'm gonna show you the cheap, easy, quick way I did to fix Fanatec's crappy potentiometer and terrible wiring. Basically, um, I emailed Fanatec, asked them for information on the, the pot they used, and um, if there was any way I could get the, the serial number or have them sell me a new one or ship me a new one or anything, or the wiring or literally anything. They were completely useless, would not help me at all. Basically just wanted me to either send it in or buy a brand new one. So basically what I did instead was hop on Amazon and buy the first ones I saw that were listed, which are, they were like six or seven bucks for a pack of five of them. They showed up in two days. Uh, basically pinched them together, grinded one side down, and I was good to go. So in this picture here, you'll see on the left-hand side is the original Fanatec potentiometer. In the middle are the ones I bought, and on the right is the one I used. I, like I said, took a pair of pliers, clamped them together, grinded one side down, uh, flattened it off a little bit so it wasn't as long, and you basically have to make it so it can fit inside this cylinder here, right? Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. You basically just want to grind one side down, make sure it's a little bit rotates even, you know, you don't want it off-center completely or else it'll uh, rotate the whole thing off-center. And... This is just a picture showing how well the original one fit inside of it, and then a picture of mine. You want to be careful that you want to make sure that it is uh, ground down evenly and spins spins evenly, because if you don't, at the top left you'll see the little pin that comes out, and that actually attaches to the base of the handbrake. That is what spins the uh, cylinder, which spins the potentiometer. You can easily break that, that cylinder, so you got to be careful. As far as the wiring, I just use 16 gauge, uh, you know, generic Amazon basic speaker wire. I didn't even strip the casing. I plugged the casing right over the pins. And now it works better than it ever has. This is how it should have been done the first time. The thing is, Fanatec uses these little cheap wires and they have this, they have like one wire soldered to each pin and the solder ends up breaking and the wires retract. Um, and then you get this loose connection where it's like, it's not really, it's like hovers and flutters around. I'm gonna show you the way this works. Take out these screws, right? Mm -hmm. Take those screws out, right? Pop this off from the bottom. <clears throat> what you got here, yours will probably be a little bit different. Um, this this top piece is actually plastic and mine ended up snapping so I took one of these that's first shift knob in a, in a big ass washer it works perfect works better actually because it doesn't flex like the plastic one was flexing and kind of giving me off sensor readings anyway so what you do you take this bolt out right here right when you take that bolt out there's a brass fitting in there and inside the brass fitting there's like an aluminum or steel fitting what you want to do is take a screwdriver and pop that aluminum steel piece out I don't know what it is steel or aluminum you'll pop that out and then it'll let you just slide this uh, brass fitting like down or up or out you can slide it just straight out so you take off these two bolts here, right? That are holding this bracket together. And once you have those out, this whole piece will just come right off. But you have to take that screw and, and then fish out the little cylinder so that you can drop down this brass cylinder. Now once that's pulled apart, there's two screws up here, or there's one screw right there. There's one screw below it, right? And that'll let this middle bracket pull straight out. And when that bracket pulls straight out, that little nut right there, you unscrew that nut, and you can pull the uh, the potentiometer out. And uh, what you want to do is just pull that potentiometer out, put the new one in, and you're pretty much good to go. So the way I have my wires, that's just... Uh, Regular speaker wire with the casing left on. Didn't even strip it, didn't solder it, nothing. I just slipped the uh, slipped the casing right over. You can kind of see it there. There's no solder. I just slipped the casing right over the pins. It works perfect. <laughs> 